how to render view layers. While there are a lot of tutorials out there regarding that, this tutorial will explain how to do it on big projects with a lot of view layers. One key is organization. View layers works by enabling and disabling collections. So put all your objects into different collections. Another key is to think how light interact with different objects. When a light ray hits an object, depending on its type, some light rays will be reflected and some absorbed. Knowing that, let's fill our project with some objects. Always organize them with collections, which is the way to separate the scene into view layers. So first the terrain. Then we add animated cameras by example. Next we scatter some rocks on the terrain. A few trees, grass, gravel, etc. Now, a castle far away. We need a subject in our scene, so a guy riding a horse. Of course some lights. I've used a sun with Nishida to make a night scene. Some clouds could be great too. I want stars in the sky, so let's add them. For more detail, some smoke simulations for the horse's steps over the terrain. And finally, fog to get better results. Now make sure that both indirect only and holdout buttons are visible. These buttons are only available for collections, not objects. So more or less this is the result I'm looking for. Note that this image is already composited. Let's rename current one to environment and start creating more view layers. You can copy current settings, create a new one with all collections enabled or with all collections disabled. I'm going with copy settings and make sure to rename it. Now go to the first one and because this layer is not affected by any other object, let's disable all collections but sun and cameras. We need both of them in all view layers. Go to view layer properties tab and enable the passes you want. In this case, only environment pass. Now go back to the last view layer we created. I want to create far distant clouds. Copy the collection name, create a new copy, and rename it. Again, let's go to the previous view layer and disable those collections that does not affect for the stars again, all of them but stars. Repeat that process for each view layer you want. It is always the same, copy layer, rename it, set collections visibility and set passes. Right now it's easy, because these layers are far away and we don't need them to affect others or be affected by others. But now you may start thinking how light and materials affect other objects. By the way, I forget about clouds passes. For the landscape, we want the horse to affect indirectly. Three simple words, we want the shadow of the horse to be visible. Just enable indirect only two horses collections. That way the terrain receives light reflected by the horse, shadows included, but he remains invisible to the camera. With horse layer we have exact same situation, but inverted. The terrain reflected light, shadows, etc must affect the horse. But here we have a problem, because there are objects between the camera and the horse. Those objects may mask the horse or hold out. Another example would be the grass. Any object that blocks the horse will mask it. By other hand, we can switch landscape and horse settings and the final image will be exactly the same. Right now, landscape collection will mask horse collection, so let's invert that. Disable landscape collection holdout, but leave indirect only, and in horse view layer, enable holdout and indirect. The final image will be the same as before. Why I'm explaining this? Simple. If I render this frame right now, only landscape and horse view layers, my computer takes 1M24s to finish it. With the other settings takes 1M54s to finish the render. That means it is better to set holdout to smaller objects in render times context. Let's continue setting up the rest of the layers. I'm gonna create the last view layer first and go back to dust layer. The smoke simulations needs the same to be blocked by the horse, the grass, and the ground. By the way, by holding maze, you can recursively set those values. And the last view layer, the fog, all objects must be set to hold out. 
Now, just render an image. You may want to check if everything is okay before to render the whole animation. This is just an overview. There are a lot of tutorials on how to use Compositor Editor. Drag your image to Blender and press Ctrl, Maze and right-click over Image node to preview it. Leave space between output nodes and your image and duplicate it. One per view layer. Now select on each node the correct layer. Try to follow logic with that. Far away objects first. Once completed, go to the first image node and add an alpha over node and connect the correct output for each layer. As I said before, this tutorial is not about compositing, but how to prepare the scene. You can see my House of the Dragon compositing tutorial for that.